Hey everyone, this is Elliot with Exotic Motorsports and this is our 2017 Tesla Model S 90D. Do a walk around on it, show you minor flaws and whatnot, you know, that it does have on it. It does have a little paint chip right here. Down here at the bottom, it got really close to a curb. You can see there. Obviously not while on autopilot, because if it was on autopilot, it wouldn't have done that, but more so driver error. 21 inch optional performance wheels. You do have a very minor rash on them from potholes, more than likely car being driven. Looking down the side of it there, in good shape no major door dings or dents on that mirror cap is in good shape no rock chips or anything going over the rear quarter focusing on this wheel as you can see here it has some uh, touch up from where it was it was uh, um, curbed but they've repaired it try to patch it up a little bit this right here is just it's grime from the uh tire shine so it's not it's not actually like that I'm hard to with them being gray whenever i was doing the once over i didn't notice that but missed a spot but all that wipes off coming around to the back Again, in great shape it does have very if you can it's hard to see but it looks like there's dirt that has gotten underneath the tail light um, and it's hard to get it out obviously there's no way to do that um, so there's that not a not even noticeable but I'm very OCD about stuff and so I want to point everything out little rock chip little chip right there backup camera obviously You can kind of see it, you can see it a little bit better there, but it's just on the inside of the lens. There's really no way to clean that without having to take the tail light out, take it apart and all that good stuff. Um, I really wouldn't even think you need to take it apart because it's just in between the tail light and the car, but can't get to it without re re uh, removing the tail light. Little chip right here, little chip right there. Previous wheel rash has been repaired there and touched up. Going along the side of the car. right there coming around to the front of the car it's really really good looking it does have a little part right here in the front bumper and all this is just those aren't rock chips it's like road grime that didn't completely come off on the detail but a good polish and buff will get all that out we'll take a look at the inside <clears throat> obviously as you walk up to it it gets you ready for it welcomes you gets ready to get going beautiful white interior couple little scuffs right here from people's rings and whatnot when they go to put their hand over it like that and then on the door sill from a few scuffs from shoes and 
whatnot that didn't quite clean up. Seats are in great shape though. Same thing with the armrest. Black Alcantara headliner. Normally when we get in cars, we start them up so you can hear the engine, but obviously with this one, that doesn't happen. These Teslas are pretty cool. Here's the main display. You can tell it doesn't. Uh, some of these Teslas, they have a yellow ring around the uh, info, infotainment system um, caused by the glue and the adhesive uh, that's on the screen. This one does not have it. Uh, so it doesn't have that flaw that is, is pretty well known to well known to Tesla's Model S's, I guess you should say, with a big, big screen there. Um, but yeah, obviously, you know, here you do all your vehicle controls and, and audio, um, you know, your climate, heated seat, turn your heated seat on, hit your car info there, um, you know, for all your information and your settings. When you hit the Tesla button up here, it shows you some of the... Uh, um, Easter eggs and hidden. We'll go back to it. The menu will pop up and all the, all the cool things you can do with it. So, um, you know, hit the little fire button there and it starts playing some uh, music and turns the whole thing into a fireplace, which is really cool. Just, you know, neat stuff about Tesla is that all that that music happens when you hit the fire setting so it's pretty cool kind of sets the mood tesla and their engineering but yeah no it's a, a really great car uh, you know overall it's in good condition other than the um you know, just minor cosmetic stuff so um we'll take that fire off and yeah someone is really going to enjoy this car uh, it does come with a 220 um plug-in so that way if you have the 220 you have an electrician come out to your house they can um, install 220 and you can charge it at home